Hey guys, what's up and welcome. Some time ago, I was tired of creating forms. Forms are confusing, they are stressing and they are difficult to get right. So some time ago, I decided to create my own library that was going to solve that problem for me once and for all. And I'm proud to announce to you today that I did it. Okay, so uh, we are continuing with our um, uh, to-do application. It has got some slick forms, okay, that works, okay, very, very quick and it's easy and they are professional and I am using the best of the best in terms of the tech stack. Let's get into the demonstration. In case you are new here, this is a series. It started here. Okay, let's see my apologies about that, okay. It started here on my channel, okay. Okay, it started here. As you can see now, we are on video number four. I am using my own library that I have created. It's called the Met Component. Let's get into the demonstration. Here, guys, we can log in. Okay, check here, guys. Okay, I've got a user here with his, uh, which is uh, Met. Okay, we can log in here. When you log in, as you can see, you are taken to home. This is where you can log out if you want to. If you might think that it's difficult to create this component, this library that I've created, Met Component, gives you these out of the box. Guys, you don't really even have to code. Okay. And then, as you can see, guys, as I've told you that now I am producing forms like a McDonald's franchise, forms that are beautiful and stylish out of the box as you can see guys if you might think that i took time to create this form just like the way shed cn is doing it and it gives you more than 30 lines in a code or a form like this believe me this is just few lines of code trust me so here you can add um what can i say you can add a to do there is a title there is a date picker comes out of the box you don't even need to some sort of style it it comes exactly like this okay as you can see guys you can add an image of your to do okay uh, just check here you can type whatever that you want to type in case um, you've missed something this will validate as you can see guys this is beautiful and professional you can customize it according to how you want we can log out as well check here guys okay we can log out here in case you think um this is something that uh, a hacker can come and uh, bypass it okay we are using json web token this means that we are using the best of the best in terms of security so mean that this code generate a json web token let me show you and demonstrate that to you so let's go to our cookies okay and the application and check in the cookies there is no json web token so meaning that if you are logged in you see guys a json web token has been created how can we know if this uh, random strings actually they are this user which is met okay let's just go back here take this to json web token check here guys okay my apologies about that this is a piece of code let's just go back here copy this okay take it to json web token and paste it and it has been decoded check here guys this is the active user this is met this is um the email and this is the the profile image address okay as you can see guys this is awesome okay so it doesn't end there guys okay after you have logged out okay if you have logged out check here guys we don't have a token if you are trying to access home okay access home that means you are not logged in it takes you back to log out if you are trying to access home it takes you back to log out maybe you might think that in the home component i've got a condition that kicks people out that is the amateur way the novice way of doing it this is coded design i am the creme de la creme of development and design i'm going to teach you a very important concept in next.js that is difficult for other people to teach and that is a middle way we've got a middle way somewhere here Okay, let me just show you. I'm going to teach you the middleware as well. Not only I'm just going to show you how things are done. I am going to explain this middleware in plain English as if I invented the middleware. Okay, so I'm going to explain in details how am I securing the home page. Okay, instead of 
always going to the JSX, the front end, uh, making some conditions to kick people out. We don't do that here. We don't play games. This is coded design. So I'm going to show you and teach you the middleware as well. This doesn't end there, guys. Okay. We are going to create this login. Okay. We are going to query data from the database. In case you don't know, we are featuring Prisma as well. Okay. So we've got a database here. Okay. As you can see, guys, it's running. Okay. It's ZAMP. It's a MySQL, MySQL database. So it's running. So we are saving users from the database. So this means that um, you can create an encrypted password and you can validate also the user to check if this is the actual user. What do we use in order to achieve that we are using bcrypt we are hashing the password and locking them with bcrypt this video is not going to waste your time it's not longer unnecessarily it gives you all the tools technique and tips to help you not only to come up with a beautiful project um, at a high speed uh, and they are bulletproof but i want you to also answer interview question i don't want you to be that developer when they are being asked how does a middleware work and they say give me visual studio code i will show you no you must be able to explain yourself i hope you are going to enjoy this one let's get started if you are new it's your first time here this is a series of a full stack to do application so it started here okay this is number one number two number three and now we are busy with number four i'm happy with what we have done this is a clean professional and also on point registration form as you can see guys everything works well now we are diving deep into authentication and authorization okay i want you to fully grasp every concept that is involved in it so at the moment in time at this moment in time we can register um, a user that's perfect it takes an image and it saves it to a server so everything works well but now we are done with the registration um, we need to deal with the login why are we going to start with the login um, remember i told you we are pushing authentication and authorization further we are about to get into nextjs middleware this is a very confusing topic not because of it's an advanced topic or it's difficult but i don't think in the community we are winning on explaining this like the best we know how so also in this video i am going to show you um, and teach you and help you to grasp the the essence of um nextjs middleware okay so meaning that we need to go to our login and we need to make sure that we are able to sign uh, the user in and out so that when we are signed in we can have an active user at this point in time we can only have an active user once we register okay does this means we are going to always uh, register before we get an active user let me just give you an example okay let's say we have a new user here which is uh, active and their email is like this as long as it's unique their password one two three and then um let's say this is their image uh, let's just choose this guy here okay as you can see guys okay so once we register okay sorry about that once we register okay we are going to be redirected to the home page where um we will get uh, i wonder why we don't get uh, the the avatar now here uh let's see did i change the code or something but um we will this is a story for another time okay but here we are going to get an avatar of an active user suppose but i will quickly check now okay now this is the only way in which we can get um the active user meaning that if we want to get an active user we must be registered if we are going to deal with authentication and authorization and the middleware it needs to be easier for us to have an active user and how could that be easier we can just log in and log out log in and log out that is just a click of a button imagine if we have to register in order to get an active user it's it's too much uh, guys okay so uh did we manage to get uh what can i say um ba -ba 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 -ba. did we manage to get 
the token not really okay uh the reason why this might be like this i will tell you now uh we just need to upgrade uh met component okay so guys let's go back here okay let's go back here i'm hoping to be on the login yes okay so now we need to log in and log out uh, so that it can be easier for us to have um an active user okay so uh, with that being said let's just quickly um check what's going on here on on home okay on home okay now i have got a clue as to what might be happening why we don't have an avatar here okay so in the code uh we have made some changes you know that we are busy with um, the met component okay obviously if you are following this series from here okay um the last time we checked we were on i'm going to show you on a lesser version than this one okay as you can see now we are on version 30. on the previous um tutorial on the previous uh, video remember i told you that um i am working on the what can i say on the on the package okay on the library okay um as you might see that uh, the met component where it is the met avatar okay the met avatar was not like this okay it was not like this it didn't take a title it didn't take a avatar item it didn't take all of these so <clears throat> sorry so meaning that i have made some changes remember i told you that i'm going to make this component reusable okay before it was not reusable okay so obviously um those changes um came with some da -da 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 some bugs let's say so let's just quickly check here first uh are we managing to get a token um let's see it looks like to me uh we didn't generate a token as you can see guys if we go here application uh let's see cookies there is nothing here okay so let's just um quickly go to register again okay uh, uh, uh register again let's see test but let's just give it a different name do you know where the problem is okay my apologies guys okay remember this uses an my sql database okay and that database is connected to uh we are using XAMPP to power up that database okay so this means that guys XAMPP has not been started okay my mistake guys okay my mistake and i sincerely apologize about that okay my mistake okay so let's start um the my sql database okay so so that um the system can connect and then it will generate a, a token for us okay my apologies about that i hope you uh, i'm forgiven okay okay so as you can see guys now our database is running okay let's see also my sql obviously my sql uh sometimes it gives some errors here so what you can do if it gives you some error stop it and run it again stop it and run it again okay so now we know that our database is active and then let's register guys we're supposed to get a token here and when we are redirected to the home page suppose we see uh, an avatar there okay uh what oh okay the file is needed let's choose this guy again as you can see so let's register and check here okay let's see as you can see guys okay so that means now um we have uh, we have managed to to generate a token a json web token for this user and here is this user okay guys now let's talk about um the the met avatar okay this is the met avatar guys okay as i've promised that i will refactor it so that it can be reusable okay in the previous video it was not reusable so how is it reusable now now on the met avatar you can pass the image to it and the name okay as you can see guys image and the name i need to deal with this i need to delete this okay you can pass the image and uh, the name and also now you are able to add these options okay these options here when you are adding them you can add some sort of an action item let's say these are avatar item what do i mean by action item you are passing an item that has got um an a callback okay it's some sort of a function that will do something when the user clicks here for instance let's test home and see what happens uh click as you can see guys okay i'm alerting an empty 
uh what can i say empty dialogue message here there's nothing okay i'm i'm just showing you that you can put an action there and do whatever that you want and then here on log out i think this is a link meaning that it's supposed to take you somewhere instead but um i just need to check if i did that okay as you can see guys it's redirecting me to log out but unfortunately i don't have this route okay but here i'm just giving you an idea so let's go back here and show you what might have changed okay so we've got an avatar here okay which sorry we've got the met avatar okay Okay, which is my component from um met components okay so we've got met avatar here now met avatar takes a title okay check here guys this is an account okay what if maybe you don't have a title here okay check here as you can see guys there is no title okay that's step number one okay if you want maybe let's say these might be settings i don't know guys okay now it's reusable you can do whatever that you want as you can see okay um let's go back here so let's just leave it on accounts and then from then met avatar takes an array of avatar items so what are those these are the avatar items okay okay cool and then um these are the avatar item and then obviously the session user it was there before but as you can see um it takes uh the username okay uh the username yes and the image src okay this one it's easy now let's talk about the the avatar items okay what are avatar items okay so the avatar items um what can i say it's not like any jsx component or react node okay there are two types of avatar item so first of all this takes an array okay that means it's going to be some sort of a list of things what are those things okay um this can be an avatar action as you can see here let's uh type here let's say let me type action okay let me alert action here okay so now this is a jsx uh a react node or a jsx element okay as you can see it's called an avatar action okay um you give it a label let me just change it now to action you give it a label and you give it some sort of a callback function which is um action method here is my action method so when somebody clicks on home okay i want to do this i want to display or i want to alert so when somebody clicks here on action i want to alert action let's go and test that so as you can see we've got this option this is the met avatar component when you click here i want to do this action i can do whatever that i want to do here that's the first type of it this is a, an avatar action and in that array the other item might be an avatar link okay don't mind about this key i will explain now okay the other one is an avatar link you give a link a label and um you give it a link okay the avatar link you give it a label and you give it this is more like an href okay it's a link you are telling it where to go okay let's say we want it to go to register okay we want it to go to register as you can see guys when we're logging out it will go to register okay i hope uh this one it's it's simple so at this point in time if you don't have the current version which is of met component which is um 0.30 which is a point, point 0.30 then it means that you can just go come here okay i i hope now you know what we're going to do uh npm remove okay met combo not double n met components okay that means we are removing met components at all okay um as you can see uh, let's see i think i've got some typos npm uh, remove met uh, components okay 
med components okay so um if it's your first time here you can just install med component you are going to get um the 0 0.30 version which is, is the updated one with the updated met avatar okay so once you are done with removing it then you can just uh, install it again npm i met components as you can see guys okay so this is what we've been doing since i'm updating uh the library the ui library as i'm teaching you okay so um this is just going to be quickly installed and that is it so meaning that now uh, you can go and check in your package.json uh, suppose where is met component uh, let's see where is met components if we have it if i can see it here is it guys okay as you can see now the version is dot three zero so you just need to make sure that you've got this uh version uh let's see let's see let's see isn't there an error because of this version okay let's see what it says is not assignable to a type of intrinsic attribute redirect path and 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 property title does not exist okay let's see everything was working well and it looks like now after i've installed this version nothing seems to work so let's just go and check there um it looks like to me um it looks like to me i didn't uh, update this so this has rolled back to the old version as you can see guys okay i have changed it in my own code which now i lost it okay um but i didn't change it into the other one okay let's see maybe by god's grace i have managed to change it on met component my apologies about this okay my apologies about this let's just quickly check where is met components so that i can just push it if i have already copied and pasted. okay if you're following this series you know this is something that i told you that um it's a bit of a mission and a half okay to update the library and keep it updated it's a mission and a half okay guys as you can see okay this version this one met component okay in the package itself it takes the title it takes the session user it takes the avatar okay so one thing that i didn't do i didn't publish it okay as you can see so here is it so the older version as you can see it doesn't take those okay uh, as you can see check here okay it doesn't take those so at least we are safe guys i didn't lose uh, a lot of work okay so thanks to me by always updating this library okay even though i just forgot to push it so what we are going to do now okay let's push it to the um dot three three one okay point three one and then let me save that as you can see it's not saved okay let's just push this guys okay unless in fact we are not pushing it let's publish it npm um I think it's mtm npm publish okay and that is it okay let's publish uh, another version okay i think every well everything uh, went well we just have to now i'm not going to uninstall and install it let me just try this way okay um, because there is another simple way okay i'm just going to go here where is it where is the met component met component now we are on version uh a a, a dot three one okay or point three one and then i'm going to save this and i'm going to just run npm i sorry what's going on here okay let me clear this so what am i doing now i'm just updating my my package.json okay so when i'm running this command sorry okay npm i i'm telling node to go to all my packages and update them including that the the met component which is now i have changed it to 0.31 where is it okay yeah as you can see guys so that's how i'm doing it now okay so i'm expecting this to disappear okay uh, my apologies about that okay as long as we didn't lose a lot of things okay as you can see guys now that dot three one the point three one works very well i think um 
I'm done explaining about how can you uh, be where I am in terms of the versions, okay? In terms of um, the met component versions, okay? So, guys, I think we are good to go. As you can see, we are able to come here, but at the moment, we don't sign out, we don't sign in. So, in order for us to reach this stage, we must always register, okay? So, let's first uh, deal with the login button so that we can log in and log out quickly before we go to the middleware authentication and authorization okay middleware is very interesting guys okay and it's a bit tricky okay so let's continue guys first of all i don't know why i have got the email here so let's just go to home and see or let's check in avatar first do i have an email as you can see guys i've got an active email here this is some sort of uh let's say I'm not sure at bug or what it's not supposed to be here maybe i was testing something here so maybe even with you uh you might have that let's just refresh i'm expecting this to disappear okay my server is not running okay npm run dev okay so i have removed this okay um let me since i'm already here guys okay because i always forget to update the actual library so what i'm going to do this is the met avatar i'm going to delete this and i'm going to paste the one nope this is not what i want to do okay this is not what i want to do let's see let me click onto here oh okay the email okay the email is not on the met avatar it's on a page okay as you can see guys so the um, the met avatar it's fine okay it's fine like this let's check let's see am i on met components yes this is not right met avatar.tsx yeah okay cool guys i'm happy with this let me just close this one and i hope everything is running and we don't have that email because we have removed it okay guys cool now let's go to log in okay let's go to log in my apologies about that where is my log in auth log in now we are going to log in okay so what's going on here let's just briefly talk about log in okay uh, in fact let's just go to register okay we are going to copy something from register okay so let's just quickly uh, go there so when you are on the login screen, it's either you log in or register. Okay. If you are not registered, you can register. So we need to always have those options. Okay. Um, for some reason, we just ran out of the in the power. I don't know what might be in South Africa. We've got something called load shedding. I'm not sure if it's back um what is load shedding we just share the power i'm not sure if in the country we've got we are running out of power or electricity okay whatever that is okay so i'm trying to say uh i'm out of power now so i'm using the laptop battery as you can see so as soon as the the battery dies without maybe if the power is not back yet then i will have to wrap up the tutorial so my apologies about that i don't know why okay fortunately for us we don't connect much to the internet okay uh, this is locally so let's continue guys okay so it's either you register or you log in so fortunately for us okay this component okay it's um a met submit alternative okay from met component okay so let's apply the same met submit alternative on the login button here it's asking us to register or log in then on log in suppose it asks us to log in or register i hope you get that so um let's go back to the code and first let's go to register and copy the met submit alternative okay um let's see what do i want to do okay met submit alternative as you can see here is it guys okay uh, where it starts okay it ends here Okay, so if we go to log in, let's check met submit as a button. Uh, met submit as a button, we're just going to delete this and we're going to use met submit alternative. I'm just going to click here next to this E, press control and press space and import it. And then we are done. Let's go back and check it. 
so let's click login i don't think we need this one okay so as you can see guys it says register or log in well this is not what we want okay if we look at the met um submit alternative it has got a reverse prop which we can remove once we remove that as you can see now um we've got login and then register okay um what can i say um the popping button okay the one that grabs more attention at this point in time it's register than login as you can see log, login it's a bit muted okay we don't want that we want this login to pop so we can come here we can change this uh prop which is is submit okay this is submit is asking you which button here is responsible for submitting the form of which at this point in time it says it's register that's not true because we are logging in so it's log in and then register will act as some sort of a router or will help us to navigate to a different page so let's change this from sign in uh, to let me just delete it like this so that i can have some options it's log in okay and then let's go back here as you can see guys now it's log in so now this log in what can i say it triggers an action okay um i don't think i implemented any logic for this at this point in time okay and then this one is supposed to take us to register okay so i think now um our application flow is improving okay now i don't have to always come here and type register okay now we've got a better authentication flow as you can see and it's working out of the box okay cool and then what we can do as well we can apply this um indicator here as you can see this indicator will always indicate when you have some errors okay as you can see it changes telling you that um your form your overall form status it's more like it's on error okay it will change when everything works well as you can see we don't have that here so we can go to the met form okay from met component okay um where is the met form and then i think we've, i've got a prop here which is indicator okay so in this form uh let me see what will happen to, yes so in this form i want to have an indicator as well so that means we are good to go let's delete this and let's click log in as you can see we are not good to go okay we are getting there guys okay um i'm happy with this now let's get into the logic let's just discuss first what we want to do okay i think what i can do here i can decrease my brightness to save um what can i say the battery okay so that we can uh, last longer or we can record uh longer okay let me do this at least i can i can see okay my eyes will adjust it's a bit dim but my eyes will adjust okay now let's see okay so um let's discuss what do we want to do okay we've got an on submit method okay that receives this data okay so when it receives this data we want it to take it to an endpoint that endpoint need um we are logging in okay that endpoint need to query the database okay and get um the information for this particular email okay and then from then it need to compare the password and it need to come back to us i think that is clear okay so then let's go to uh, let me just zoom this in a little bit okay i hope uh, this is more visible uh, for you okay in case you are watching this from a mobile phone okay so let's check the on submit method okay uh, let's just check for that on submit method i think we can even see it from the met form okay um, the met form so the met form has got this um, here is the form submit okay so here is the form submit it receives the data we console log the data okay let's just check um let's just put test here okay go to the console let's see do we get the data when we are console logging okay obviously it looks like it um sends something uh the data somewhere okay let's just uh quickly check that 
okay so as you can see guys it's running the mutation it's not console logging my apologies for that it's uh, running this form mutation okay so let's go to this form mutation and see what we did here okay um i think i can also do this okay as you can see guys this is um some sort of a fake uh, endpoint okay it's google of which um this is wrong okay cool that means first we have to create the endpoint for logging in okay so let's go back to our api okay we've got register and then let's create the endpoint for log in all right and then what we want <coughs> my apologies about that on login we're going to create a folder which is going to be route.ts very important that this folder this file be named like this okay my apologies about that and then let's get into um what can i say next js api routes okay so what we can do here we need to always export okay always export this function okay we need to export um the post function and then we need to make an arrow function here okay so we are exporting const sorry i didn't declare this function okay we are exporting const this function and that is it since we are in a server we need to um this need to be a promise so we need to this needs to be an async function okay I hope that one is easy. What does this mean? As soon as you hit this endpoint, this post method will run. Okay. And then this post method will receive a request. Okay. Uh, will receive a request. Let's just call it rec. Okay. And it's going to be a next request. Okay. That's the type of this. Um, let's say, what can I say? Um, a type of this it's a parameter or it's an argument um we are receiving it we are passing parameters when we are calling a function okay this one you can make your own research guys now i'm i'm I looks like i'm confused i don't know okay so we are receiving this um parameter okay we are receiving this parameter which is rec okay so what type of this parameter it's a request it's a next request okay so let me just give you a clear picture of what's going on here because if you don't understand this this can be confusing so not going to be too much but i'm just going to give you an idea whenever you interact with a form okay and you are sending that form to an api okay well you might think that you are only sending the email and the password that's what you think as a user but that's not what is happening under the hood okay whatever that you are doing here it needs to be wrapped with an http request the method of that request is post now i'm starting to involve method something that you don't see here that's not all when you are sending that request it comes or it goes with a lot of things um which i which i believe it's um some sort of uh, the web api uh let's say methods or functionality okay things that you don't really see okay what is involved in those things okay number one it's um the headers okay headers contain um or contains a lot of information about this http request about uh your browser about about a lot of things guys okay it's a lot but i'm going to try to show you that okay so what i'm trying to establish here is that this guy <coughs> the client sends a lot of information that you are not aware of so let's just go to the network to see what is this guy sending okay besides this and this because now this will be wrapped it will be inside a lot of things okay i think it's now it's going to be called a payload okay which is it's not like data now it's a payload okay what you are sending to the endpoint so let's do this let's send okay let's say a uh, payload okay this email is payload check here guys okay 
we are sending data to Google. As you can see, it's pending. We are sending it and it has failed. Okay. And this is the error message as you can see. Okay. Cool. Not a problem. So um, what we want to check, we want to check what did we send to uh, the, the user. Okay, guys, my apologies. I just need to open for somebody. Somebody is knocking. Okay, guys, I'm back. Thank you so much for waiting for me. Okay, I believe my mic, um, at least it's um, advanced. So meaning that it's able to to filter uh, the background noise. Okay, but in case you might hear some, I'm not sure, smaller, small voices but here and there. There are some people on the other side and they are conversing. Okay, so. So I'm trying to say, if you can hear those little things, please, guys, uh, bear with me. There's nothing I can do. It's either I choose to wait for them. And while I'm waiting for them, I'm not sure in terms of the load shedding, when is the power coming back? So it means that um, I'm caught up between the hard place and the rock. And I choose to continue. Okay. So with that being said, let's continue, guys. So... I was asking myself, what did we send to the server? Okay, we want to know, is this just the name and email or it's a lot of things? <clears throat> okay, so as you can see, guys, this is the error. Now, the networks tab, okay, this networks tab has got the headers. Okay, I told you about this. Let's check what is inside the headers. The request URL. So meaning that this Chrome thing or this Internet Explorer thing or the browser, it looks like it's sending more information than I am aware of as a user or maybe sometimes as a developer. OK, sometimes maybe as a developer, you might not really, really be aware of this. <clears throat> OK, sorry about that. So it's telling the server the request URL. Okay, which is our endpoint. At this point in time, our endpoint is Google. The request method, okay, a method it's post. Status code, okay. Um, what happens after um the request? Okay, as you can see, guys, this is 404, it's not found, and that's true, guys. It's red. Okay, the remote address. I don't not really sure about this, but I'm just assuming we've got this spot 3000 okay okay the other uh, reference policy okay some other things we will deal with them later i don't want to confuse you here okay i just want to give you an idea of what's going on the cost policy if i can explain it i might confuse you okay i'm assuming you are a beginner response headers as you can see guys this is raw okay um cash flow so now i'm just going to look for things that we might need um on the server side okay things that concerns us okay okay now let's check here uh the payload the payload is what we have sent okay even though we are not going to receive this data as a payload, the name will be somewhat different or the way in which we are accessing it. But this is what we have sent. OK, let's just check other interesting things on the headers. Um, as you can see, guys, we've got the connection. We've got the date. Um, what else? Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's see. OK, we've got the content type. The other important thing, guys, this is very important. OK, the token the cookies okay the the power is back okay i don't know what happened um now let me increase my brightness my apologies about that guys okay but i was trying my best as a tech guy to maximize my time uh our time me and you okay so let me just uh increase my brightness and what else um i might as well connect to the internet or maybe the wi-fi is still loading up okay let's continue guys okay looks like we are winning and now we don't have any disturbance ahead of us okay so guys automatically the browser will send the cookies okay whether you like it or not it will send the cookies okay i think now the idea of json web token and authentication 
it's becoming fully established in your mind and that's what i want i want you to understand this so that when you are attending an interview you can answer things okay i don't like it when you are in the interview and you are you are asked how does the json web token work or how does the the client or the browser sends the token uh to uh to a server and you ask them to give you a code this is not coding they are asking you they want to test they want to see that do you understand it okay so i want you to pass those interview questions more especially those ones that i failed in my in my career okay i failed them um for you to pass them okay i think um that's the best way okay my english ends there okay now let's see as you can see guys um there's a lot of things here okay but the most important one for now let's say this origin will become important why i'm saying will become important i'm hoping on the middle way i want to teach you this look at what udemy uh, is doing okay if you are searching me here by the way you can come here guys and support me i've got this course on udemy react advanced component composition and i've got this one next shares okay so if you are hitting this on udemy udemy collects uh this first okay it collects this because they want to know uh, which not necessarily addresses okay let me what can i call this which urls are generating traffics okay guys this is important okay in web uh, technology this as much as you think that this is just a url this is important it communicates a lot about which pages are um, frequently used and uh, what people are searching as you can see guys this is a query string i'm searching matthew singati here so as a result they collect all this information and they present to us as the instructors as you can see guys okay here let's see top web pages uh directing traffic to your course okay so as you can see guys here they are checking before somebody lands on udemy uh, server or url okay where they were coming from it's a traffic source okay they want to know where were you coming from check here guys okay so most of people who are visiting um let's say my courses or my section okay they are coming from udemy courses search okay as you can see some of them are coming from google some of them from nowhere i don't know where that is some of them from facebook some of them from substack i think by now you know i always guys ask you to subscribe to my substack newsletter if you want to get the source code okay for this channel and if you want to get the figma files for this channel in case you didn't know i've got this channel as well which is coded ui okay i'm offline which is coded ui okay so that's why we've got substack here it makes sense guys and this is true because i refer people to substack sometimes i create promo code which now they have expired for uh, a lot of courses so this is very important okay i want you to understand this okay and i'm going to do my best to help you to understand it okay believe me at the end of this tutorial you are going to understand this through and through okay so let's go back where we were so as you can see guys so here we've got also the origin okay um this is the origin that means um where we are now here and let's check here the referrer uh, i'm thinking um before you hit that end point where were you coming from okay so these are important things okay we are going to hit on this as well we are going to create some sort of a traffic uh, database thing here so whenever somebody hits some certain pages we want to know where they were coming from we want to save that to the database so we are going to simulate this why am i doing this i want to simulate um existing application and i want this to do application which looks simple to be as realistic as possible enough about that let's continue so as you can see guys now you are the browser is sending a lot of information and this is called an http request as you can see guys it has got a lot of things okay cool now let's go back to here so when you are hitting this endpoint this request it's that http that has got a lot of things do you want to see it let me show you console.log 
okay i'm taking this and i'm logging it so this means that we need to hit this endpoint now so let's go to our login and instead of hitting a fake uh, api which is google dot what what dot what what let's hit api login and as a proof that we are hitting the server let's do this um put this here My apologies about that and let's put this here now we are going to come back here first we need to check what's going on here okay okay as you can see guys let's see log in you see now it's hitting the endpoint login as you can see obviously there is an error okay this doesn't mean that um the endpoint doesn't exist but we we we, we are not handling this request the the correct way okay i hope you understand that one okay and don't mind about that so let's see where do we want to be we want to be on the response as you can see guys there is nothing okay because we are not sending a response back okay so let's check uh the console log of that uh request check here guys okay this is an http request let's see you see as you can see guys it's a lot of things so here we have compiled the page login okay here that means everything was working fine and then after that as soon as that endpoint was hit we have um console logged the request okay check here guys what's in the request okay base url origin you see a lot of things method post local urls only okay some of the things we are not going to use them okay even me some of the things i don't know okay but i'm just going to show you uh, some of the things that made us okay you see on the url we've got the href here is it hpi login we've got the origin we've got the protocol we've got the username and the password the host host name as you can see guys we've got a lot of things okay uh, we've got also search params as well uh, what else do we have let's go down hey guys my apologies for disturbing in case you didn't know we've got a course at udemy if you are watching this on coded design i also got another youtube channel for teaching you figma and that channel is coded ui in case you want to be updated by everything that we do here at coded design please check the link in the description below to our Substack newsletter thank you so much i hope you are enjoying and check okay um we've got the url here okay coming from login um we've got also cookies okay as you can see guys we've got also cookies so i hope now you are starting to to get a picture okay of where we are going here okay i don't want you to to use methods from the request that you don't really get an understanding of what's going on for instance let's say you are getting cookies but you don't know what a cookie is and you don't know where it's coming from uh, well i don't like it like that okay the reason why i'm explaining this way guys okay i am not um teaching you to create a project okay where you can brag to your friends and have a nice portfolio okay besides that or beyond that or um on top of that okay i am seeking to connect with you if i can be honest okay i want you to find me uh human enough and sincere and um transparent and genuine and original that's the only thing that i want you to get out of that okay they can grow a seed of strong character of uh persistence of um not sure uh belief and all those things okay what's the use guys of me breaking you with my intelligence that doesn't improve your life the thing about it okay i can teach you how to create the best of the best application but if i'm not managing to awaken the giant in you that believes and that keeps on and that persisting for me i won't be happy so that's why i'm explaining this way i want you to get the essence and i want to connect to you i want to help you to see possibilities maybe one day i might visit your country and you might see me for the first time we'll shake hand and maybe you will say to me thanks matthew you have helped me to make my life better that's the 
that's that's all okay it's that's that's the main goal of coded design enough about that let's continue so um, where we are i think i'm lost here i'm not supposed to be here i want to be on the api all right so as you can see guys we are receiving a request you know what a request is now okay cool what's the first thing that we want from that request okay we want the data okay so we will pull things from that request okay we will pull things from that request okay as we as we wish or as we want okay so whatever that you are going to get from that request you need to know what you were sending to that request so let's go back here the type of data um this is a mutation function what were we sending here we were sending data we were not sending form data okay that is very important okay we are just sending data which is a json object so we need to catch or we need to receive in the back end the json object if we were sending form data then we will need to receive or to catch form data so um what can i say what you put in is what you get back so we need to know what were we sending okay so now that we know we were sending um an object okay uh, um and it's just an object a plain object now let's start by saying const as you know i don't memorize code okay const um data let's say is equal to let's get the request okay here is our request what do i want from the request let's check do we have body there okay and then we've got the body um do i chase on the body or what okay let's see body um maybe this body is a method uh let's see what it says cannot invoke the body as a method as possibly no okay my apologies about this let's see cannot invoke this object so this you cannot invoke let's see let me try a uh, body body property body this is what i want okay let's see and then what else do i get here from the body uh, dot cancel dot request this is not what i want can i invoke this body cannot invoke as uh okay cool now what i'm going to do let me just console log and see what do i get from this body okay something is telling me that i need to to get not really i don't think i'm supposed to even get the body there but let me just console log this for the sake of us testing okay so guys this is how i know things okay to be honest whenever i get into a video i don't know a lot of things okay i've got some blank areas and i like it that way guys okay i will tell you why i'm a designer okay i've been designing for the most part of my life okay so with design you don't repeat yourself okay meaning that if you can ask an artist a painter to paint the same picture twice he won't copy it exactly as it is the second one will be it might be totally different okay it's art okay art is new in nature okay so i'm trying to say when i'm starting a tutorial obviously i've got an idea of some things that i want to teach you but i don't like it when i have a blueprint okay it doesn't add value to me it feels like a repeat i feel like i'm a fake i'm not learning anything so basically guys that's how i feel it's a personal thing okay i was just sharing it with you so that's why you see me coding this way <clears throat> excuse me i like to figure things out and it also helped me to learn guys imagine i'm going to log in this data here and now i'm going to know what's in here okay so with that being said let's continue and see um we are going to get an error because we are not uh, sending a response back okay not a problem okay but we are going to console log this so let's see guys okay um let's see okay readable stream lock is equal to false readable error what 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 okay as you can see guys we are not seeing some sort of a meaningful thingy here okay and also my memory has been refreshed the json that i'm looking for it might happen it's on the request itself okay um let's see the json as you can see guys here is it okay so when you invoke this json you get some sort of uh the data that uh, you have sent okay so as you can see guys it's very important to understand what this request is and what i can pull from it how to pull it's not important 
most tutorials they are teaching you how to do things okay what is important is to understand what is inside it okay because if you only understand how to do it you will have to memorize it okay so you can fiddle and um what can i say think your way out of confusion or getting stuck okay so as you can see guys i have managed to get this json data and then let me console log it let's go back here again test uh where is it okay uh we didn't just return a response yes i'm sure about that okay uh let's see what is this and what's in there for me it looks like to me we've got a promise what the, what does a promise mean it means that we need to await this okay cool so let's await it guys okay let's await it let's see what do we get it's data it's any okay cool and then let's go back here and let's click send again okay let's go back here we didn't re we didn't return anything yes but check here guys after we awaited it it has given us email uh this an email and it has given us the password this is exactly what we want now i am sure that i am getting that data since now we know that what we are getting back it's an object that has got this and this what we can do we might as well destructure that okay like receive sorry uh what am, am i trying to do we might as well receive those variables as they are we know that we are going to get the email and we know that we are going to get the password okay so now let's just uh speed up okay uh the uh what can i say uh the process okay let's just pick up the pace so what i'm going to do now i have got the email and the password so let's get into the response so whenever you are hitting the uh the end point or when you are in a server you need to always return a response and the response that you are going to return it's next response okay it's next response dot json okay okay now check here guys in the request we got the json okay this was the information that was sent the client knows it as a payload okay we have received that data now we want to return a response check here even the response has got the json okay because it needs to send this information as a json object so what we are doing now by copying this object as it is okay it's like we are saying we will send back what we got from the ui now we are not going to have this error okay um, are we console logging we are not console logging any anything so we need to check this response on the on the browser okay that's what i want to say so let's go and check the network okay is it red now no it's not red okay um what is this blah 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 okay i will have to check the uh what i did okay so guys login is no longer red and login is sending uh back to us what we have sent to it i'm happy with this i hope you you get the idea you are starting to to understand uh, what's going on okay cool um what else do i want to do after i got the email and the password let's try to handle some errors okay why am i saying let's try to handle some errors whenever you are awaiting something it means you've been running an asynchronous function something like this okay even if it's not you okay it means that this is an asynchronous function asynchronous function means that well i am going to perform some task which might be true or which might be false I'm going to go and call someone i might find them i might not find them so think of it that way it's a promise that is not a promise okay or that is not always a um what could happen in in promises okay now i'm running out of english data bundles they are depleted okay uh the promise you make it must be the promise you keep i hope you know that saying okay and it's it's true it's valid you have to keep your promises now this the response it's a promise that's why we have to await it okay but the promise can be broken okay that's what i wanted to to say okay the promise can be broken okay so meaning that if you if somebody promised you about something they might not deliver okay there is that possibility so in this context what does that mean the promise might be null 
okay as much as we are optimistic about getting these this data but in 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 essence somebody might hit this endpoint without these uh details okay email and password chances are we might get null values so that promise might be broken cool with that being said let's handle that if email uh, is not true how do i do that that means email not true or password okay not true then what you must do that's an error this is supposed to be email okay as you can see guys because it can be null okay so we need to make sure that we handle that what are we going to do guys we need to return an error okay so now let's just make this um meaningful okay in this part okay in this tutorial i think somewhere here on video number two i'm explaining more about statuses okay http statuses or status codes or something like that so i'm going to use one of them okay so we are going to return back an error and the error message is uh, email or password not supplied not supplied all right and then we need to pass the status which is 400 well we are telling the browser that something went wrong and why this is not working because i have put this inside this object of which i was not supposed to do that okay this is supposed to be here so return that means stop the execution and um what can i say do not continue okay guys thank you so much for making it this far guys let me just take a water break all right all right <clears throat> let's continue guys in case you might want me to teach you uh, this is my website matthewmsingati.co.za you can come here and arrange a discovery call this is a one-on-one -on -one, one hour to get to understand you what do you want and where do you want to go and let's see if i can take you there but i believe i can more especially with react js let's continue guys okay and then this means that now we know that we've got everything and we are happy let's save okay cool what's the next thing to do the next thing to do is to get the user that has got this um that has got this what guys that has got this email okay now when we are um, trying to get the user that has got this email some errors might okay so we need to wrap that code with the try and catch block okay uh, try and catch block okay my apologies about that error okay and then mm, what we'll do if we got an error we will return i'm not sure i'm starting to repeat myself here i'm starting to return a lot i am thinking i can create a method that will help me with this returning yeah, but for now let me just sometimes you you just have to repeat yourself okay but i'm starting to to panic okay i don't have to copy and paste this much okay so we are going to return a response is going to be an error and let's just push that that error okay maybe it will say the user does not exist or whatever so we are just being safe here okay so whatever that we are going to write here in case there is an error we are not going to continue okay as you can see so what are we going to do here we need to connect using prisma to our database and fetch um the user with this email okay so let's type here const um <clears throat> sorry so const this is a user data okay but i want to give it a uh, what can i say a variable name that makes sense or a a correct one 
So, okay, so we've got the user here. We want to test if this user exists. So let's say existing user, okay? This is the existing user. Okay, so now how are we going to connect to Prisma? Since you are using Met component, I've got a method, okay, um, which is singleton, okay? Prisma, okay? This is comes with uh, the met component, okay? So dot user, users, okay, I'm getting into this table. And what do I want from this users? I think I want to find, but I want to find unique, not many, okay? I want to find unique, and then I want to find unique where, okay, where what, where email, um yes it's an object where email and that's it okay so obviously um this is a shortcut okay you could do this where email put this and then where email is equal to email okay but in javascript if this email is the same as email and 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 the same thing same thing then you can omit this okay you can also type here where email at gmail at what what okay i hope you get that so let's just do the shortcut where email so meaning that where email is equal to this one so we want to see does this user exist okay so that if it doesn't exist we throw an error okay so let's throw that error um let's check the type of response that we are getting not the response but the type of it let's check here Okay, const existing user is declared. Okay, it doesn't really, it's not a promise. Okay, it's not a promise, but I'm thinking, I think we have to await it. Okay, okay, awaiting doesn't hurt um, because if you are receiving a promise, you will always get true because there is something there. So this won't be null, okay? But if you await that promise, if it's null, then you will get null. So if there is nothing, then you will get the proper error message. So let's just await it. So at this point in time, um, there are some methods that in the back end or in the server that I'm not really, really sure if they we have to await them or not. But my first litmus test how do I know if I have to await something? If I can see the return response, it's a promise. That's a sure sign that you need to await it, okay? But some of these methods, I'm not really sure. So that's why I always uh, make sure that I'm safe by awaiting it, okay? And then if the user does not exist, let's copy this as it is. Okay, uh, the user does not exist. Then here we go i'm copying myself again okay uh, but if you want you can create a method that will make your life easier here okay um user does not exist error message let's just say user does not exist oh, does not exist okay um, i'm happy with this so should we continue here that means the user exists can't we return the data of that user that exists okay so that we can first of all check if our code it's working there are no mistakes okay so when we are done with this i also want this response okay the same response but it's not going to be an error this time existing user let's pass this existing user here as an object and 200 that means everything went well now we need to remember um the users okay i forgot now let's let's register a user that we will know okay let's register a user never let's call this user met okay and the email address Okay, and the email address is met at gmail. Okay, I hope that is a unique email. And the password still it's met. Okay. Let's see. Mm, let's just put this and then let's just check here in case the user exists. 
okay so it's met met at gmail.com and the password is met okay cool let's register and see here is this pending okay cool we have managed to create a user which is met okay as you can see guys okay now let's go to log in go back here and let's go to log in met at sorry at gmail.com okay for now we are testing if the user exists the password is not important okay we are supposed to get the data of this user if it exists okay let's see log in here is log in and also it's giving us something okay the user exists guys okay this user id it's number 10 the name is matt here is the what what and here is the password and here is the path that means we are good to go we are getting there okay um what else do i want to do now i want to go back here okay now i need to compare the password okay how am i going to compare the password let's uh, create a variable um the name of this variable is password correct is equal to and then we need to use uh, a package called bcrypt because our password has been encrypted so bcrypt okay it looks like it's not there that's not much of a problem let's see bcrypt okay and let's go here and import it okay mm, import what are you going to import to be honest i don't know but i know i'm going to import it from bcrypt okay as you can see guys okay it's not only bcrypt it's bcrypt js now i know i want to import bcrypt js maybe not in this way maybe just like this so we want to import bcrypt js and then on bcrypt js we want to compare okay um the first uh, argument uh, in this method it's the user's password okay the one that has not been hashed so let's just type password here remember we have the password and then the next one it's the the one that comes from the existing user okay the one that comes from the existing user dot password okay and then let's check the type of data that is being returned it's a promise okay if you've got a promise here this will always be true okay obviously let's just test it okay um let's just test if that is the case okay um let's see how are we going to test if that is the case mm, how are we going to test let's say if okay let's say if this is true okay if this is true let's see this condition will always return true since this as you can see guys a promise okay so always check what are you getting back so that you can await it sorry now it's not a promise okay it's something which is a boolean true or false i hope you have seen that um when you are in the server please always await so i usually say good things come to those who wait so if you don't wait you are going to always get bad things okay so let's continue guys um are we recording yes okay i'm happy with that because sometimes i forget to so we want to ask is this password true so what we can do here we can pass this which is is either going to be true or false okay so remember here we didn't care much about the password okay here so this means this is the wrong password so i'm expecting to get false okay um where is my network now where is my network tab okay, let me just click here maybe i will see it well i don't where is it all right um in the network tab close this why i am lost in my own code 
let me close this and open it again my apologies about that okay it's my first time to see this as you can see this is where we are now but uh, i don't have what i'm looking for let's okay as you can see now we have here is the login it looks like the password is false okay true but now let's give it the correct password in fact let's type one two three four five okay another false one okay don't mind much about that alerting thing password is false now let's type m a w -T, t which is met let's see password is the password is true so our method is working so we can know when the password is false and when password is true when the password is matching now what we want to do let's see what we want to do um it looks like everything is working well if we can reach this stage that means we're supposed to log you in however let's check um what do i want to do let's check if it's false okay first okay uh, i'm not sure if this is defensive programming but we are making sure that uh, we are checking for wrong things okay um, which is not true is false so if this is true and then this will be converted to false if it's false this will be converted to true okay so if this is not true let's return an error okay my apologies about that my copy and paste didn't work very well okay response and the error name is incorrect password okay i think here the rule of thumb uh because we are dealing with um, some security issues uh is not to be specific in your errors okay uh, for instance just say incorrect credential or username or password is incorrect don't tell the person what is the actual problem because if they are guessing they will know that the user now is correct so i'm only left with the password so um, i'm not sure if keep on confusing them okay so but for me here i'm just going to say incorrect password because when i'm getting the errors as a developer i want to know exactly uh, which one is it i need i must know it's line 33 okay so that's why i'm saying incorrect password okay um then if we can continue up to here this means that uh the password is sorry the user is the correct user okay so what do we do when the user is correct i think we've we did this before let's come here and check on api register okay excuse me about that on api register what do we do okay here is it guys okay we create a session user here are the details that we'll give to that session and then from there we are going to create a cookie session we get a response that will um return back a response with a cookie that will have a token okay um so let's do that guys okay this is exactly what we want and my question is can't i take this let's see can't i take this and make it uh, a method in the met component library let's see let's say we've got a method let's say it's going to be create session oh, okay uh, the challenge will be um how am i going to know these details okay let me just uh run it through my mind we are going to have this method what is it going to do basically this is what it's going to do it's going to do this and it will receive mm, okay mm, da, 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 da. let's see i i don't think it's going to be useful guys okay if you can look at it this method alone does the job okay this line okay if you look at this this is not like multiple tasks okay this is just like a variable session user is equal to let's say it was a string so you cannot reuse that there is no need because 
whatever that you put as that string it's uniquely for this module okay so um there is no this is not a potential candidate for reuse so let's just copy and paste as it is okay let's go back here and once uh, i don't think i am I'm where i want to be i want to be on route so this means that once everything works well now we don't need this response because because this method this method will return a um what can i say a next response okay with the cookie okay with the token okay so um <laughs> you know what makes me laugh is that um it's the stop phrase you know everybody has got that i'm not sure that word that they like to say frequently okay and for me it's okay okay so i've got a a course on free code camp okay on free code camp it's um it's a next js course okay so there there is a comment that reads as stop saying okay okay so now the reason why i'm laughing guys it's 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 that okay my apologies about that because now as i'm speaking to you i can see that i am making use of okay 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 so i'm like ish maybe i need to to work on this okay maybe we are just taking a, a small break okay also you are getting to to know the guy behind the voice uh, a little uh, better where is my course here on free code camp uh, but i think it's the only one on shared cn so if my internet is slow and i don't see it i can type here shared cn shared cn let's see so it's supposed to be the only course that is on shared cn specifically okay here we go i'm saying okay again what's what's the problem with my internet um well yeah is it guys okay yeah is it this is my course okay okay as you can see now it's sitting at uh, 838 likes and 36k views okay so enough about that guys i was also um taking some sort of a, a break in a way so let's get back to business okay thank you so much for waiting for me now we've got the existing user okay so the existing user mm, in registration it was created user but now it's just the existing user it has got the name existing user it has got the email it has got the image path and it has got an id so this enables us to create uh the token okay the json web token okay I'm going to try to limit my okays okay okay so <laughs> i apologize about that the force of habit it looks like some as you can see guys this was playing and it started with okay okay i think i need to to improve on that let's continue guys so we are creating uh, a cookie okay a, a token json web token here and then we're going to receive a response and this response has got a token in it let's see if after we have successfully logged in are we going to get the token application uh i think this is an old token we can delete it okay we can delete it and met at gmail.com And the password one two three four which is the wrong one let's test okay no token now let's put the correct password m a double t there is a token how can we know if this json web token has got meds detail let's go to 
Jason Webb token or JWT, let's say. Okay. Let's paste this here. As you can see, active name, Matthew, active email. Okay, as you can see, guys. Okay. I'm convinced that um, these are the correct details. Let's go back to the front end. Let's go back to the front end. Instead of alerting blah, blah, blah there. Okay. Then let's see. Let me just search. Am I on the front end? Uh, authentication. Log in. Here is the alert. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So now what we need to do, we need to know what are we getting back as a response? What are we getting back as a response? So if we have managed to reach this stage, this means that um, everything has been successful, right? And then we need to redirect to the home page. We did this on the registration. We did this on the registration. Let's just search for form mutation. Okay, form mutation. Not this one form mutation. I want the method where uh, here is it. Okay, so on success. Okay, on success, we navigate to home. Okay, so obviously, okay, we need, sorry, let me just copy this. Um, let's just copy this as it is. Okay, and then we are going to go to home. Mm, sorry, we are going to go to login. Okay, and then on success. Okay, let's do this. Host. Um, let's just type welcome. Okay, yeah. Um, also welcome here. I really don't know what to type. Welcome to what's the name of the application to do uh, to do app. Okay. Let's declare a navigator. Let's just declare a navigator or const navigator is equal to use router. Make sure you install, you import this from e next navigation. It looks like to me everything is working well. Okay. Um, let me delete this. Met at gmail.com. Let's test, guys. Met at gmail.com. Wrong. What is this wrong password? Um, if there's a wrong password, why it doesn't indicate to us if there's a wrong password? But that's a story for another time. Let's put the right password. Then we are redirected to home. But the challenge that we have on home, oh, okay, I was looking for this met. And here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm happy with this. Okay, now, guys, let's get into the middleware. Okay, this home, it's um, the actual application. Okay, so not everyone is supposed to come here. Um, what else do I need to do? I think we just need to implement the sign out. Okay. We need to implement uh, the sign out. Let's see. Don't I have in the met component the a sign out method? Okay. Or maybe it's a log out in the met component. How do I then uh, log out in the met component? Let's see. Let's see. I think in the met component I have a, a mechanism for signing out or is it something that maybe I have to implement? Okay, mm, let's check on actions. Don't we have under met component action? I think I have. Let's see. 
do I have actions not hooks? Uh, where is met component? Here is met component. Uh, do I have actions here? Let's see. Mm, actions, 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 actions. Looks like I don't have actions here. Met components API maybe. Create, create session, section, met server, met upload. Let's check on helpers, convert, verify. Okay. It looks like I, I, I don't have it. Okay. Let's see where can I get it. I think I have got a code here. I have got a code here. I think it's a, a YouTube clone. Okay. I think on the YouTube clone or where? Okay. Or here. Okay. I think I have. Let's go to API sign out. Here is sign out. I think we can reuse this. Okay. We can reuse this. Okay. As you can see, this method, um, it's a get method. And then it will get the URL. Then get the search params. And then, and then let's see base url and then response.set cookie token okay so as you can see what it does it just um change the token okay to this hash 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 which is what can i say it's just um deleting the actual e active user data or the actual user token that was there okay so as you can see guys okay there is nothing much uh going on here okay as you can see so it will redirect you to the login after you have logged out so what we can do we can just um come here where is that uh, logout route let's see let's see api uh, home login I'm not in the right place. Okay, sorry about that. So let's go to API and let's check sign out. Okay. Sign out. So now this is not part of the met component. So we might as well make this uh, a met component reusable. Let's say what reusable method okay so how are we going to do that let's go to met component uh, met components and then on the api because it works on the api let's just paste it here first this is uh, the sign out and then um, how are we going to do this okay how are we going to do this or maybe in the met component we can place it okay we can cut this here and we can place it under to copy okay as you can see um, this is some of the things that you will just have to copy and paste it into your route okay as a sign out route under api okay so this is the to do this is not the met component library so i might as well uh, open the met component library and paste this there because if i don't i will forget and the library will be inconsistent so where is met component okay and then i need to go to to copy okay let's see to copy i need to paste this okay is it here okay let's go back and copy it again my apologies about that uh, sign out copy and then we need to paste it on met component so meaning that you will find this here to copy okay sign out i think this will work fine okay okay i think this will work fine and then let's go to the package and let's see now we are on three true and then let's publish this okay uh, npm 
let's publish this okay and then what we will do um we are going to delete this one here okay because this is the one that we copied or i copied okay so what we are going to do we're just going to go to the json and then change this to two i am expecting after this has been installed that folder is there automatically okay that folder is there under to copy okay um so i'm just going to cancel my server here clear this and then npm i where is my to copy um, met components to copy met components to copy as you can see guys we don't have it here we don't have sign out so i'm expecting um after this npm install then we are supposed to have a to copy there because we are going to install uh, this version okay as you can see guys i didn't connect to the internet that might be a problem okay let's check what uh, is this yeah it was pushed okay default access latest or maybe it's still stuck because as you can see guys okay because i was uh, not connected so meaning that um let's cancel this first this one Okay, as you can see, it didn't work. I'm happy about that. This has to work. Okay, this has worked, as you can see, 32, okay, or dot 3.2. And then let's go back here. Nope, not here, but here. And then let's run npm install again, okay? Still to copy, that folder is not here. So after this, as you can see, guys, here is the folder. I'm happy with this. That means we are good to go npm run dev okay so we are going to route to this okay so here we are going to copy this this to our api okay our api folder am i on to do yes not this met component api this one this api i think i need to put a capital letter on this api going forward okay uh, because this API and this one, they might be confusing. So let's paste this here. So this is the sign out route. So let's see if it works without us even changing it. Okay. So what we are going to do now, let's go back to the met avatar. Okay. Um, let's go back to home on our routes. Go back to home on our route. As you can see, guys, these are the met items of the met avatar. The link one. Okay it pushes us to uh, register so now let it push us to sign out okay so i'm assuming that the user automatically is supposed to be signed out okay let's test guys okay uh, do we have a token as you can see guys we have a token so suppose if this works this token changes let's see um let's see um it okay it looks like sign out is taking us to register okay why is it taking us to register yes let me click undo yes it was register but now it's sign out okay uh, it's no longer register it's sign out make sure that this oh my apologies guys my apologies it's me remember this is api sign out okay api sign out okay so we just need api here then for slash sign out okay then let's refresh here we still have the token and then i'm going to go to home home okay home is going to give me the logged in um what can i say the logged in uh, user because it's the active user now let's log out and see as you can see guys okay now the token has changed and it has uh redirected us to log in so 
we are managing to log in and log out okay so let's just test the login again okay met at no met at gmail.com and let's see um met okay let's see what will happen here as you can see guys now we are logged in let's log out for the last time okay Okay, it looks like we have jumped to log out, but I don't think the token has been changed. Let's just refresh and see. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't think uh, the token has been changed now, but here it's on log out. So let's go to home. Okay, you can still go to home. Let's log out again. Okay, this is suppose okay so it works but um it looks like it's not like perfect okay it's not perfect so let's make it perfect so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to met avatar because yes i think it's the met avatar that is responsible for that and in terms of the met avatar um it does this by uh creating a link okay now guys let's do it like this okay uh, let's be clever um let's see let's see what do i want to do okay let's go back to the home page okay let's go back to the home page you will see what i will do let's go back to the home page uh, where is the home page the yeah, is the home page okay i am going to remove this log out okay uh this one this one because this one goes to this page through a link okay it looks like that link doesn't really do the job as we want to so let's use another way another method to visit this okay let's see another method will be to use the 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 avatar action okay but in this action okay in this action we are not going to alert something now we are going to um route to here but programmatically okay here we are using an href in a way or a link it looks like it works but sometimes it doesn't work we want something that will work always okay and secondly we are not going to use our next js next js way of routing let's try to use pure javascript okay let's fiddle um do i have an object which is called window okay can i get that it looks like i can let's see um let's say do i have href here okay um it's if i'm getting is it window or is it uh i don't think it's it's not dom it's not dom okay i think it's window but it's window dot what okay because i want to change the href so it's window dot let's try location looks like we've got location dot href okay let's check dot href then i want the href this is pure javascript okay this is pure javascript so what i'm trying to do i'm trying to force the login to always hit this because if it doesn't exactly um as you have noticed the user might think that they have logged out whereas they didn't okay so we we can't afford that okay so now we are using a different method so this means that this link in the met component is going to be deprecated or maybe i will have to warn you don't use it for for sign out okay uh, we will see what i can do but maybe in the next version i'm going to to remove it so this is how i'm going to navigate to sign out okay i think this is a some sort of a bulletproof method okay so let's try guys and test and see if it's working this is pure javascript and then what i'm going to do um let me am i logged in no okay 
Okay, cool. Let's see. Matt at gmail.com. Okay, and let's type Matt. Okay, log in. Okay, everything works well. Let's log out. Now there is action. Okay, my mistake because of copy and paste. Log out. So, um, and also these keys, I don't think I have explained these keys, guys. Okay, so if you've got some JSX element in JavaScript and you are putting those inside an array, okay, Java's React wants to keep track of these elements, okay, like using keys so that it can know that this is position zero one two three or something like that it's a best programming practices okay so uh what can i say you just put it as it is okay and then let's go back here and check let's look hey guys my apologies for disturbing in case you didn't know we've got a course at udemy if you are watching this on coded design i also got another youtube channel for teaching you figma and that channel is coded ui in case you want to be updated by everything that we do here at Code Design, please check the link in the description below to our Substack newsletter. Thank you so much. I hope you are enjoying. Out. Okay, log out. It goes there. Log in. Um, met at gmail.com. And also met we are logged in check log out looks like it works for me okay to me it works so maybe i'm behind the scene i am going to see maybe for logging out okay uh, maybe i can convert the link uh, maybe i can convert the link um item to a logout item instead okay i think so so um, you can only use this logout method i think so check here guys let me quickly do that um avatar let's see avatar avatar link okay let's see this is what i want so i'm going to change avatar link avatar link okay Let's change it to avatar logout. My apologies about that. Let me just change to avatar logout. And then you don't need to pass any parameters. Okay. Maybe you can pass the label because instead of saying logout, you might want it to be sign out. So I can leave that one. Okay. But the link, I don't need it. Okay. So in this library, I am going to advise. I don't need to wrap this in a link. I'm going to advise that um, when you want to log out, use the avatar log out instead. Okay. And then let's put um, the on click here when you click on this. And then this will take you to here. Okay. I'm happy with that. Meaning that it's telling you that you must have sign out. Okay. What if maybe you've got your own different uh what can i say your own different route for signing out that means you need to use the action and then you put your own logic there okay so this one it has to be avatar logout and that's it okay now i think this is uh fine okay then now we don't have um the avatar link as you can see the what can i say the file name still says link Okay, let's say log out, avatar log out. Okay, I'm happy with this. So I can copy this. Let's test if it's working. Okay, there is the avatar log out. Let's see what is the error here. Avatar link does not exist, of course. And then instead of putting this action here, we can change it to avatar log out. And then we don't have the action method now. Okay. We don't really have the action method. 
I think so. We don't have this on avatar log out. Okay, what is it that I want to do? Um, let's see. I want to delete up until here. Yes, and everything is working well because on log out we don't really have we only have the label log out now let me change that so that we can see it changing even here um where are we okay we have logged out met um at gmail.com and then the password it's met okay is it avatar log out now yes let's see if it works it works okay so what we need to do we need to update the library um let's see what do we want to change avatar logged out that's what we want uh, where is it so met component avatar log out let's go there i think we are going to delete the avatar link okay we are going to delete the avatar link where is it um is it here oh maybe i didn't even update this but i think okay let me just try to do this avatar yeah i didn't was it updated okay met avatar met components yes where is let me type a here Met component let's see okay i don't see these two here okay i don't see these two here let's go back here as you can see guys i might have not um updated these okay so these are under mid component cool okay thanks to this now let me take these two to the other side okay so that you can also get them in case maybe you are facing some inconsistencies my apologies about that okay um that's why i'm saying uh, i need to always make some updates okay as you can see guys now these are here okay cool let's run this one now okay npm publish npm publish okay let's see now we've got three three uh, there are some errors forbidden uh whether publish three two i didn't save this that's why okay this has not been saved as you can see now it's saved guys okay npm publish i think everything has worked well okay so let's go back mm, let's go back to where let's go back to where let's go back to where um let's go back to here we need to cancel this and then we need to go back to packages and then let's change this to three okay and then what i want to do um i want to npmi my apologies guys let me take a water break in the meantime okay now let's check uh these guys there <coughs> excuse me do we have uh, the avatar as you can see guys we've got avatar logout and avatar action okay cool so um what am i going to do now <coughs> apologies about that what am i going to do now it looks like guys we can log in and log out okay uh we want to log in yes met comp met at gmail.com gmail.com and met all right this is supposed to redirect um let me just check the network to see what might have happened there is an error um doesn't tell us what the error was okay met let's see maybe there's uh, some sort of minor there was an error let's check here guys uh what the error might be 
<coughs> apologies about that um log in do we have anything that looks red not really and then i'm just thinking what might be the problem uh this is not running okay this is not running npm run dev okay this is not running now it's running okay all right guys my apologies about that my mistake okay now it's running let's log in again go back to application go back to application as you can see it looks like we've got a token here now you need to redirect i'm happy with this now check the mistake guys okay what will take us to the middle way i was still running yes check what will take us to the middle way <clears throat> okay let's lock out okay this is a protected route let's say let's lock out uh, lock out now yes that means there is no user that is logged in let's wait for this to redirect okay that means there is no user that is logged in but if we can go to home it goes to home because there is no user that has been logged in it doesn't show the the what it doesn't show the the avatar okay so what we need to do now we need to get into the middleware okay then the middleware need to protect this route okay you must not come here if you are logged in you must only come here when you are logged in if you are logged out you must not come here so let's get into the middleware okay so the middleware is not different from this route where is the api log in it's not different from this okay not different at all okay it's exactly the same thing to prove that it's exactly the same thing i will copy this line as is okay i i want you to i'm not sure i want to make middleware as simple as possible okay i want to make it as simple i don't want you to struggle okay because sometimes we explain it in complicated ways and 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 okay so if you understood me when i was explaining this the middleware is exactly the same thing so let's go back to here okay so on the root folder let's create a middleware please uh, make sure that this name it's exactly like this okay okay before we do anything okay i like to test things let's just console.log okay uh console.log middleware running let's see what will happen okay in this file whenever we run whatever that we run we want to see what will happen okay it's just an empty page okay let's see what will happen it looks like to me there was middleware running the middleware runs okay let's go back to maybe register let's say um okay okay as you can see there is an error guys okay but what i was trying to show you here is that middleware first okay runs in all request okay the middleware it's like um the baloney in between in a sandwich okay um it's between the front end and the back end as soon as you are trying to connect to a server it's there running okay it will always run between the request and the response it's it's like let me use this word we are hacking the system somewhere in between we want to do something okay i hope you you get that so that's why it was always running the reason why it's throwing an error whenever you hit the the back end whether you are creating a post or a get whatever that you are doing it's always there so we want to do something before you continue to the back end and 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 that's it so i hope you got that one so it's telling us the middleware must export okay the middleware uh must uh, excuse me the middleware must export a middleware 
okay so it's just a function guys okay check here now you got this one okay guys please uh don't forget in case you might want to support me uh i've got um let's say udemy okay i've got this course here okay please come guys and support me this course i think it's it's cheap guys okay it's not that expensive i've got these two courses please don't forget okay so in case you might want me to I'm sort of give you a one-on-one -on -one course teach you exactly what you want to know okay then you can come here and click the discovery call and then we take it from there let's go back to the middleware okay so as you can see i have copied this post as it is i'm just going to change it just change the name to middleware okay as you can see guys there is nothing different it's just the name okay okay so it cannot find uh this type okay so we're going to press control on windows and then uh, space and then we import this from next.js and then now suppose when we are running this as you can see guys now everything is working as normal okay let's go back and console log again okay middle where running okay inside a function okay which is inside a middleware function okay let's check guys what happens whenever we make any request be it um, via what can i say a form or what okay let's hit this endpoint again as you can see guys this middleware runs okay let's say we want to go to register Okay, we're getting into register this middleware runs okay so i hope now you see when is the middleware being triggered okay that is very important so let's go back here okay so if the middleware always runs okay um what does it know because we need to make some condition so we need to know how knowledgeable or how clued up are you okay which is you as the middleware what information do you have for us what methods can we um, pull from you as a middleware then we can make some decision so that we can protect some routes okay which route do we want to protect <clears throat> i apologize about that we don't want you to go to home if you are not logged in at this point in time you can so the first thing that we are going to do we need to know where are we or which route is this request coming from i hope now you are starting to understand the idea of http request and the information that it gives you okay it gives you more than okay if you click here you think that you are only getting here but this will send a lot to the back end so we need to know uh, i think it's the origin okay uh, in terms of the terminology the http terminology we need to know the path so what we are going to do we are going to declare a function here which is our path okay the path is equal to we are going to take the same request guys okay it's the same next.js request okay dot let's see do we have next url here as you can see guys this is the next url and then let's look for path name okay so what we want to do now okay uh, console dot log path name okay uh, dot path console dot log dot path so we want to know which path are we in so every time uh, the middleware runs in between the request and response we'll just have to know where we are okay as you can see guys forward slash home that's correct okay register forward slash register it looks like we are getting the path okay cool now obviously we can make some conditions here okay if the path okay if the path is equal to forward slash home okay if the path is equal to forward slash home uh, if path oh okay sorry guys 
with a double equal sign or triple okay so if the path is this one what do you want what do we want you to do we don't want you to go there okay really we don't so let's look for next response okay next response dot let's redirect you okay we are redirecting you to where let's create a new url and then let's pass forward slash login we're going to take you to log in because you are not logged out we need to pass here as an argument the base url where are you going to get the base url we are going to get the base url from request okay and that's it so if the middleware runs every time every time it runs okay just between the browser and the server okay when somebody wants to get into the server it doesn't matter in which uh, way they are getting into the server by the window by the door by the roof by the open whatever okay it will always run so meaning that whenever you hit the we are here in the middle okay we are a piece of software in the middle we want to run so we want to check is this path home if yes redirect to what to the login page let's check now okay <clears throat> apologies about that we are able to get into register we are let's check about login we are able to get into login let's see what about home um it looks like we are able to get into home okay it looks like we're able to get into home let's just check um are we supposed to await this maybe but the first thing that we can do let's console log okay okay because we want to prevent you from getting into home so let's see what is inside home okay the path uh, i think here is it guys it's forward slash home okay um the past request forward slash home and that is it let's do it again okay this is a uh, forward slash home okay if path string yes i don't think i have to await it okay if it's equal to forward slash home which i believe path is equal to forward slash home um let's do this let's do this condition okay let's do this condition log in path equal to or maybe i need to do two equal sign yes okay let me try this equal to let me do the condition equal to this let me just do two equal signs okay equal to this so log in let's type here let's put here uh boolean path okay so suppose it get give us true when the path is home because path equal to this we at least we are hoping it's going to be true or we are expecting it to be true okay so we want to see is this testing correctly okay let's see what is it going to display path is true so meaning that um we are winning okay meaning that we are winning path is true for instance let's change this path is supposed to be false go back here path is false so if then this has been path equal to true this one okay then suppose okay suppose the same thing here evaluated to true okay my apologies guys okay suppose this evaluated to true and we were supposed to return this is my mistake okay we didn't return this okay so everything was working fine okay we didn't return this okay let's check now when we are returning it as you can see when we are trying to hit home you are taken back to log in okay hit home you are taken back to log in 
as you can see guys we are winning okay cool and then um, let's see so if you are hitting lock in nothing will happen this will only work when you are hitting home okay i think we are good to go but the problem is it only um, it doesn't even check if you are logged in or not okay okay so if home is equal to path now we need to know um is the user logged in okay so what we need to do we need to check do we have an active user okay since you are using a met component i have got also another function or method that helps me to check do we have an active user okay and it runs on a server so on a client when you want to get the information for an active user you use uh, i think it's a use active user hook that i've created but here you are going to use another method which is it runs on a server as you can see now we are on a server so let's say const is <coughs> sorry active let's say is logged in okay okay is equal to is logged in then we are going to uh, use this method get active user suppose we get it from components met component okay so um okay so let's see what is it getting us back it's giving us a promise we need to await it okay we need to await it so here we can know if there is an active user or not okay when you are trying to access home okay and then based on that if this is true okay that means we're going to get the active user if this is true let's console log that user those user details and then what are we going to do um we are going to let you get into home so how are we going to let you go get into home let's read are we returning yeah i think we are returning return next response uh i think dot next okay and i think it's a method that means continue okay let's check if this is true then you can continue what if it's false then you don't continue well this works okay but we need to reverse it reverse the logic okay you can only continue when you don't have an error so we are going to take this here because this is going to be an error you can reach this stage when there is no error so let's reverse the condition if there is an error return to log in that means should you pass that means there is a logged in user okay and then it's going to let you continue let's go back and test here go back to home it's going back here okay as you can see and it doesn't log any log in data okay test it for the last time go to home it's taking us back here i hope you get that and then now let's log in okay it's met at gmail.com remember this will redirect us to home so if there is as we are expecting to be logged in suppose we are able to reach home now okay met uh, and that's it let's see and it's supposed to display here the login data check here guys it's giving us okay so basically guys um that's how you use maybe that's not how you use a middleware but that's the idea the concept behind the middleware i want to ban the concept in your brain so that you can understand it through and through okay not just use it and then you really don't know why it's happening okay so my apologies about that so it looks like to me whenever we want to protect a route okay we need to make these if else conditions okay I think as time goes by we might run into some issues because we need to write a lot of if the route is protected then do this if the route is dashboard if the route is what 
according to the middle way there is another way of doing this okay we can declare some paths okay that will only be affected by this middle way i hope you do get that okay the path that will only be affected which is a protected path that means that we need not to put this here okay we need not to put this if okay um that means now we are removing the if let's say if the path is home we need not to do that let's remove this okay because we are going to specify in a different way that this middleware will only run on this condition okay but we're going to do it differently okay what else are we checking okay so that means in each and every route always check is this logged in and then after that if it's not return to log in if it is then go to let it go okay continue and go to uh to the to the to the to the route now this applies to all the pages okay and obviously it may give some mistake when it might give some error when you are logged out let's just quickly test that check here guys we are logging out okay that means it's giving us an error why it's giving us an error simply because the user is not there because we have logged out and we are redirected to log in when we get into log in the user is not there we are being redirected to log in when we get to log in the user is not there we are redirected to log in up until it throws an error because we didn't specify where okay is this going to apply in which route okay so let's come back here out of this function let's tell the middle way that uh, const okay uh i think we have to export this okay export uh const uh, config okay is equal to an object that must take a matcher suppose this gives me um what this thing an intelligence but it doesn't okay matcher er and then and an array of paths okay where do we want this to be active now it's not working because it's active even on login that's why there's an infinite loop now let's tell it we want it to be active only on home okay let's go back here suppose now this will work this will take us why don't it refreshes uh, automatically it doesn't let me force it to refresh okay as you can see now it's testing us is is allowing us okay why because the middleware only applies to home what if maybe we can change the middleware to apply to log in we are going to go back to an infinite loop and it's going to cause an error let's force it to refresh as you can see okay now what we want um we want this to be home here okay so now this only applies to home let's refresh and let's try to go home then it takes us back to log in let's try to go home then it takes us back to log in looks like we can't go to home but what if we want to go to register it takes us to register okay um for the sake of simplicity there is a lot that can go in here okay there is a lot that can go in here okay um but to keep things simple i'm just going to end here but let me just show you um how far or how complex can this be uh click middleware let's see okay so these are the functions these are the applications that uh what can i say they are responsible for authentication and authorization let's call them the gurus okay so these guys can manipulate the middleware the best way okay let's take it that way so they've got some matchers here which um what can i say for instance um the problem that you might have here is that depending on how you configure this 
you might be in a situation whereby your middleware, based on how you have configured it, doesn't allow you to access even the public routes, the images that we everybody is supposed to, to get access to. Sometimes this might allow you, might what can hinder you from accessing the API route? Okay, so it looks like to me there is a certain matcher that is perfect the one that allows you to go to the public routes it allows you to go to the everywhere it allows you to go to your api endpoints when necessary okay but it blocks you from any other route okay i hope you do get what i'm trying to say okay so let's just go back here and see this is click okay so this is their own matcher okay in um in the real life application that I am developing, I have copied this matcher, okay? Because it's some sort of reversing what I did here. Here, I'm saying allow these protected block access from these protected routes. This matcher says or does the opposite. So it says that here I'm saying block, okay? Block access from this that one that matcher says that allow only these okay so it the condition has been reversed okay so i was just giving you a hint as to um if you want to dive deep into the matchers and how it works okay you you can okay so let's just recap uh to check where we are now looks like to me we can log in and also we've got a protected route maybe i have a user which is test let's see uh, are we going to go there? That means I don't have it. Let's go and register it. Um, let's call this user test with all this information so that we don't have to put the email and password again. Okay, let's register it. And then we are supposed to go to the home. Um, or maybe it exists. Why it, it didn't continue? Let's see. Okay, just for the interest sake, just to test just want to see um let's see i hope our um, middleware it's not uh, stopping us from doing what we want to do let's see oh okay the user exists okay maybe the user exists and i don't know the password for it okay now i understand okay the user exists but i don't know the actual password for it maybe this is the wrong password okay let me just type test here okay now i understand what's going on as you can see guys i i forgot the password okay um invalid email um met at gmail.com and then let's type met okay this we are supposed to get into here let me save this password because uh, i really want to save it so now guys um we've got in the protected route okay let's just check the time and see okay what else can we do from here now that we are in here okay i think this needs to be here okay at the top here okay um so that it can be some sort of a navigation bar so for now it's just going to be at the top so let's check where is it i think it's somewhere inside here home okay yes it's somewhere here inside home and then it's being rendered conditionally okay so what we are going to do we are going to use a class name that we have here which is called center okay which is called center and then we are going to have another uh, container here let's say another div uh, which is let's say content uh, content and then what we're going to do, we're going to put a class name. And here in the class name, what are we going to do? Um, what are we going to do? Let's put uh, a PG. Okay, first. Okay, a PG. And let's put a flex of one. Okay, so that this can push this guy up. Okay, so this will take the remaining space. Okay, the entire space. And then... We want these to be arranged in a flex column. 
okay if this flex column doesn't work we just have to put important here let's go back guys and see as you can see um it looks like uh, my changes didn't apply the way i want to okay here is this guy okay uh, why this guy is not a uh, flexed one okay um let's see if we can put important here but everything was supposed to work um let's see let's see let's see let's see flex column let's put a gap there first just to test a gap of 11 do we have that yes all right um let's see okay that means everything has been flexed perfect flex one why don't you work let's see flex of one that means take the entire space let's see okay um it might happen in the parent okay the parent of these guys okay these guys must share a space right these guys but the parent doesn't have a height okay check here the pg red okay uh even orange will work it looks like the parent it's wrapping right around them it doesn't have enough space okay for these guys to share and then let's see what if we can make the height full okay we want the height to take as you can see guys now the height of the container is full this guy is flexing at uh, the flex of one wax okay and then let's also make the width of this guy full okay we want it to um that means the container still is not that big okay let's go back which is the parent container so let's go back to the height of full and let's make also the width of full okay as you can see guys okay so this is the bottom and this is the top okay so what we want to do now we want to surround the avatar where is the avatar with some sort of a navigation of some sort where is here is the avatar okay so the avatar will form part of a navigation of some sort which is class name let's just give it a color for now so that we can see it the width i want it to be full and the height i want it to be let's say 90 pixels okay and what else um let's just put this guy for now inside there as you can see guys okay here is this and then let's put everything in the center okay let me try something here i've created my own css style for centering things okay i've watched some tutorials and i realized um there is something called container i'm not sure if it was uh, a tailwind class or it was a bootstrap or whatever you never know so let's just try guys um to see what is the use of container okay let's see is it there on yes it's there on i'm not sure if it's a tailwind or what let's just see what this does okay does it center things or okay maybe i have to 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 do a research okay but there is a class called container that i'm not sure what it does so for now let's use our own center to center things okay this, as you can see this guy is on the center and then if we might want to push this guy uh, where is it uh, this guy um what are we going to do okay let's see do we have a class name on this guy i don't think so i don't remember allowing this guy to be customized okay so let's wrap it in a div that we can customize okay so let's put a class name here so um, let me just show you that nothing changed everything is still the same so i'm going to check the margin left of this guy left to auto so that it can be pushed to the right as you can see guys okay and then on my navigation bar which is 90 at this point in time i think i can make it 80 um let's check the padding of x which is in the x-axis let's make this uh up weighs eight let's make this eight okay so that this guy cannot be like in the edge okay 
check here guys okay you can lock out this is an action whatever action that we want okay i'm happy with this maybe on that eight we can push it to 12 so that so that we can see this okay so that there could be a space here i'm happy with this i don't think i need um this background now this one okay even even this one i don't think i need it okay so let's remove all those uh, ugly gray colors all right ugly gray colors and suppose we are left with this beautiful section all right so what do we want to do actually when we are here we want you to create a to do all right yes so how do you do that so here guys i don't want to lie okay i'm not going to be as creative um what can i say i'm not going to get into details showing you some what can i say nice ui tricks okay i am somewhat um some kind of wrapping up the the tutorial okay um the course okay so what i was hoping to teach you it's the authentication and authorization that was the main part because you know uh, a to-do list doesn't take this long okay all the to-do list they are very simple and and so so the to-do list part um i would like you to copy it from let's say other courses when you want it to be in details okay so i'm trying to say it's not going to be that uh beautiful or whatever but you never know we will see maybe i'm a designer i might want to make some complicated functionalities so what do we really want to do here when the user is here um they want to create a to do okay that means we are going to involve um another um, another what another table for to do's so let's start by creating a to do so let's have a form that will always be here okay it will always be here when you create a to do a to do will be shown in here okay a to do will be shown in here um does a to do really have to have a an image okay the reason why i'm tempted to do so it's because of the met component allows us to i mean to easily do that okay so that's why i'm tempted to to also add an image there because i just want to show you that um, this component library is very powerful it can allow us to do things that will take a lot of time very very quick to us okay so what i'm i'm going to do guys let me just uh take a break and then i will come back i'm just I want to get back uh refreshed okay instead of like you know wanting to make this a cheap course because i can maybe i'm a bit tired it's been like more than three hours or something okay so guys let me just uh, pause this one i will come back i'm just going to refresh myself and that's it so what we are going to do we are going to create or maybe let me just create that okay let me just create the before i take a break let me just create a quick um uh, to do form okay why am i going to do that i want to prove even to myself that the met form or the met component makes it easier to deal with form such that even if i'm exhausted or worn out but i can still quickly put up a form okay check here guys okay let's uh, now we are just um, concerned with speed so now we are creating a component not a page and this component will be in a page so how are we going to do that uh, let's go to components not met component let's create a folder here called app components okay app components it's a folder and then let's create a, a add to do form okay this is going to be a form and it's going to be a tsx check that guys okay are we going to allow the image of course so we might as well go to register where is register here um here go to register home where is register i'm an app auth okay check here guys we highlight all of this and copy it as it is and then we come back to form 
our app components okay to do form and then let me paste this and then i will rename this okay and copy the to do form instead of exporting a page i export a to do form because we are using met form from met component things are supposed to be easy and then we are going to import this to do form where on home where is home okay let's see we are going to import this app uh, where is home home my apologies about this okay and then on the content section we are going to import this form and then let's import it and let's go back here and see here is the form for our to do okay so as you can see the content our section doesn't have a padding of x let's just go to the content section and let's make a padding of x um let's make it 12 and see how it is now what we can do this is a to do okay um we just need to come here check here guys let's first work on the zord validation okay we've got a task uh, which is uh, the name we're going to have a profile image let's change the email to date okay uh, to date the met form has a date yes let's change it to date we will change the validation later we want the date so that means you are going to get the, the name of the task uh, the image let's say and we are going to force you to do that the image and you are going to select the date and what else maybe the description okay the description of the task obviously there will be some some errors here because some things are not there some things are there but that's not much of a problem guys we can quickly do that we've got the um, uh, the name the profile image the date and the description all right i think that's all for now guys okay let's just go test there is no email now let's say there is a date at the moment it's a string we are we will validate when i'm coming back and then we don't have a password check here guys okay now we don't have the errors let's go back here and then on the met um form check here how easy this is going to be this is going to be add um a to do okay add a to do that's the name of the form now okay as you can see guys add a to do and then from there um in terms of the fields uh we've got the name okay where is the name okay we've got uh the username and what else instead of having an email um here um do we need icons i don't think we need icons now okay we can remove the icons in all of our inputs okay the name it's fine which is uh in fact this is not supposed to be the name i think it's supposed to be the title what is the title of the to do okay as you can see we are starting to get some errors there don't mind much about that we'll fix it now okay you see guys how easy it is to use the mat form okay very very easy to use the mat form you don't really think much about anything okay very very easy okay we've got the title there we've got the title here where else is where is the error okay um let's see met component title name oh i think this is my mistake i'm not supposed to change okay sorry control y okay remember uh in the met component um i've made a, a mistake now this is my mistake this must always be name okay we must change this title okay it must be a title here so we've got the title so here we can just type here the title okay type here the title and then that's it let's go back here suppose we don't have icons um the password we don't need it so we've got the title um at the moment we've got the email that we're going to delete so we've got the title and let's follow up with an image okay let's follow up with an image uh, where's the image component um let's see here's the met image okay uh, the met image now we are just concerned about the ui we will fix other things later let's go back here 
as you can see here is the met image you can select the image for your to do and then from there uh, after the the image it's a title and then we've got the description okay uh let's see uh the description where is okay so this is going to be the description okay this is going to be the description and then we're going to type here description as you can see guys okay this is not taking much of our brain and what else we don't really have the password okay and then let's go back here we are not registering okay we are just saving it to do um what else can we do here for now let's leave this like this okay so as you can see guys we've just uh got a form okay which is a to-do form that is like out of the box we didn't really even have to think much okay much about it reusable ready to be there if you were using shatsy and i think it was going to take longer than this okay what else do we want to do here uh the date guys uh, i forgot the date let's check here guys uh the met component how easy is it to add the date um let's put the date on top of the image now if there's an image here let's just copy this okay copy this as is and then let's change this to met let's see is it a met date or what let's see met date picker okay um it doesn't have a read only that's true and the the name of it it's supposed to be the date i think the label is uh the date let's say the date check here guys how simple that is and we've got a date picker okay as i've promised to you guys this is 10 times better than shatsy and i've just created a library that will make it super simple to create forms like a mcdonald franchise it's like we're producing these forms very 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 quick with this i am happy with it this is what i wanted when i was creating this okay i didn't want to to be stressed by forms okay so guys as you can see um this was a no-brainer i just did it with my eyes closed um and then that is it so obviously let me check take a, a refresh and then when we are coming back we are going to do um maybe some components here for the to do's okay then we will see if um we are going to list them according to uh what can i say um the completed and the ones that are still uh going to be done okay and that is it guys uh thank you so much for making uh this far let me just take uh, a break and or oh, let me stop here for now okay for the day guys okay um at least i have pushed okay um i've got some some other things to 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 do okay let me just for now okay so that i can save this and uh let you use it okay so in case you might want to support me please come and check here okay i've got these uh, courses here if you might want me to teach you something to help you from um being an average developer to the best developer the creme de la creme so please come here guys and give me your name and email and then we'll take it from there okay let's just check what we've done we did a lot of things guys okay let's just uh test the application just to see how it works so now from here we can log out okay this is supposed to log you out and then at the same time uh we can log in okay we can if you want we can register now at least even the flow is working fine we want to log in matthew's already there that means when we log in it will take us here okay and then from here as you can see we can log out and we can create a to-do date picker uh, right there okay so guys thank you so much for uh, making this far uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like uh, videos like these i will be continuing okay um thank you so much see you on the next one